2016, I moved to the Kalamazoo area up from uh, Florida. It was actually a really, really tough time for me. I felt like I was on top of the world at the same time, terribly depressed and always angry. Drinking a lot, going out a lot, went to the gym a lot. It was all just this big cover. I got a job at a automotive shop and I could bring my dog to work with me. And he was always there, always hanging around. And uh, somebody actually hit him with one of the cars. After uh, he hit my dog, we went to the vet and then um, I confronted him the next day at work. And uh, through anger and, and hate, I actually, I punched him in the face and it did a significant amount of damage. And after that, I was let go and fired. And then about six months later, I was driving my car, uh, speeding, and I got pulled over. And that's when I found out that I had a warrant for uh, two 10-year felonies. Assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder. After that, it was a uh, pretty big downhill spiral, sitting there thinking, that I could possibly go to jail for 20 years. I would drink a lot. I'd work out a lot to get off the anger. And when I wasn't able to do that, I would drink more. I ended up serving about 28 days in jail and I was actually in Allegan County over Christmas. As soon as I got labeled as a felon, it, it felt like I was that, right? It felt like there was, I was this terrible person, you know, I felt like a dirt bag, you know, a, a bad person. Just, just the stigma is what I felt. It felt terrible. You know, I didn't think I was gonna ever do anything in life now. Um, I, I mean, I thought my life was over. One of my good, good buddies, who was also a coworker, he told me he was trying out a new church, him and his family. And he invited me along. That church just so happened to be radiant. I went there for the first time and I loved it. Right, I felt accepted and everybody was so nice and friendly and somehow, for some reason, I didn't think about that stigma that I had. It was gone. It was heart lifting just to know that I can overcome this. I'm not tossed out in the trash, right? I'm not forgotten or left behind. It was amazing. In August of 2020, I was actually baptized by Pastor Stephen. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. It felt like a weight was lifted, you know? It felt like so many feelings were gone and just, just this weight was just lifted off of me. Right now, I'm serving with the parking team. I've been with them for almost two years. I recently started a small group of single men. So just trying to help other people that have also, you know, been kind of struggling with who they are and, and how they see themselves. My entire past has just been uh, uh, forgiven, more or less erased, you know, because because of God and all those troubled times and, and feelings and anger and hate and depression that I had, um, they were all just a blink now. And looking back at it, it's just this small minor school thing. But funny enough, that was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because now I've found my way to God and God's found me.